Hello, and welcome to Basics for Gamers presents the basics of Detect Magic and Read Aura in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Detect Magic and Read Aura are two cantrips that are often misunderstood. Before getting into the particulars of these spells, we need to understand what exactly it means to be magical in Pathfinder. Anything with the arcane, divine, occult, primal, or magical traits is considered to be magic. If it doesn't have one of those five traits, then it's not magical. For example, alchemical items and elixirs, those don't have any of those traits. Therefore, they're not magical. At its core, casting detect magic answers a simple yes-no question. Is there anything magical within 30 feet of me? And that's it. That's all it does. It doesn't tell you what object is magical, or in what direction the magical object is, or if it is powerful magic or weak magic, or how many different magical objects there are, or anything else. It only tells you yes or no, is there something magical within 30 feet of you. When you cast it, you can choose to ignore anything you already know that is magical. For example, any gear that you or your friends are carrying. As long as you know it's there and it's magical, then you can choose to ignore those from the results when casting Detect Magic. Because it's a cantrip, Detect Magic is always heightened to half your level rounded up, and this grants a few more options as it's cast at higher levels. When cast at third level, you learn the School of Magic for the single highest level effect within range. So if there is a Mage with False Life heightened to fourth level cast on it, a first level Magic Wand hidden behind a bookshelf, and a third level Doppelganger pretending to be a Dwarf, all within 30 feet of you, Detect Magic will tell you the School of the highest level of those, but that's it. You would cast it, and the GM would tell you, you sense necromancy. And that's it. Necromancy, because the highest level effect here is false life, which belongs to the necromancy school of magic. Detect magic would not reveal any other information, like you sensed three magical sources, but the strongest is necromancy. Effectively, the two weaker magical sources are smothered by false life and don't register at all. And if detect magic is heightened to fourth level, you know what square the source of the single highest level magic is. So using the previous example, the GM would say, you sense necromantic magic coming from this square and point to where the mage is standing. Detect magic won't tell you what in that square is radiating necromantic energy. It could be the mage, a spell cast on the mage, an item the mage is wearing, or something else. And even heightened to fourth level, Detect Magic will only provide information about the single highest level source of magic. Again, everything else is smothered and is not detected by the spell. There are two important limitations to Detect Magic that are worth discussing. The first of those is illusions. Illusion Magic of a level equal to or greater than the level that you cast Detect Magic at will not register. So, for example, you cast Detect Magic and there is an invisible creature in the room. If the effect level of that creature's invisibility is equal to or greater than the level that you cast Detect Magic at, then you will not detect the invisible creature. And, of course, there is an exception to this rule. If the source of the illusion magic is an item, and that item is not using illusion magic to hide its appearance, then it will register with Detect Magic regardless of its level, just like any other item. So, for example, a Wand of Ghost Sound, it has an illusion aura because Ghost Sound is an illusion school spell. But that will not prevent the Wand from being found by Detect Magic. But instead, think of a sword that is under a magical effect that makes it look like a common stick. In that case, the sword would not be registered by Detect Magic, unless the effect that hides it is a lower level than you cast Detect Magic at. And the second limitation to Detect Magic that we need to talk about is traps. When you look at the stats for a trap, you'll see a line at the top with the Stealth DC to spot it. This may or may not also include a minimum proficiency level in Perception. 
So here, for example, it says a Pharaoh's word trap has a stealth DC of 25 expert. If there is any proficiency requirement listed, then it is absolutely impossible to detect with detect magic. So in this case, even if you are legendary in spellcasting and you heighten detect magic to ninth level, this trap will still not register to detect magic. A bottomless pit, on the other hand, has no minimum proficiency requirement to notice and even goes the extra step of specifically saying that detect magic will work on it. But even then, the spell will only tell you that there is magic within 30 feet. Unless you heighten it to fourth level, it will not provide any information about the trap's location. So if Detect Magic only tells you if there is magic within 30 feet of you, how do you know if something specific is magical? That's where you would use Read Aura. Detect Magic gives you very imprecise information about a large area, but Read Aura grants specific information about a single targeted object. Read Aura is a cantrip and requires one minute to cast, after casting, it will tell you if the targeted object is magical, and if so, you will also learn its school of magic. This is an excellent first step in identifying magical items, since you cannot identify a magic item until you know for certain that it is magical. If heightened to third level, one casting of Read Aura can reveal information about 10 different objects, and at sixth level, it will reveal information about all the objects within range of the spell. But note that since you target objects with the spell, you have to know the objects are there before you can use Read Aura on them. Therefore, this is not a replacement for Detect Magic and couldn't be used to find a hidden magical trap. And like Detect Magic, Read Aura is also limited by illusions, if the illusion's effect level is equal to or higher than the level that Read Aura is cast at, then it does not reveal any information to the caster. In this video, we discussed the cantrips Detect Magic and Read Aura. Detect Magic is a spell that when cast answers one simple question. Is there anything magical within 30 feet of me, yes or no? If it's heightened to third level, it will also tell you the school of magic for the single highest level effect in the area, and if heightened to fourth level, it will tell you which square that effect is in. Detect magic cannot detect any illusions that are its effect level or higher, and if a magical trap has any proficiency level listed in its stealth entry, then that trap cannot be found with detect magic. Read Aura targets specific objects instead of an area. When cast, it will reveal if the object is magical, and if so, will also tell you which school of magic it belongs to. When Read Aura is heightened to 3rd level, it can target 10 different objects, and at 6th level, it can target all valid objects within range. As with Detect Magic, Read Aura will not work on illusions unless they are of a lower effect level. Before we close, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our patrons. These videos would not be possible without their continued generosity and support. Members of the Basics for Gamers Patreon community receive special benefits, like getting to vote on the topics that we cover in the future, and also they get to see these videos one week and ad-free before everybody else. Visit the link shown on the left of the screen and in the description if you'd like to know more about becoming a patron. If you would like to support this channel and help it grow, the easiest way to do that is by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you get notified when new videos release. And we can always be reached through our Twitter and Facebook pages too. Thanks for watching, take care, and we will see you soon with more Basics of Pathfinder.